What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released macOS Sonoma Beta 2 to developers, and hopefully in two weeks they'll release it to public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new in macOS Sonoma Beta 2. If we were to take a look at the update size, it came in at 2.55 gigabytes on my M1 MacBook Air. And before updating to macOS 14 Beta 2, You'll notice that there's a new update tonight option, whereas before you did not have an update tonight option in macOS at all. And unlike iOS, this looks exactly the same as it did in macOS 13. Let's take a look at everything that's new. So the first thing is if we were to go into system settings and then down into our wallpaper settings, we were, if we were to set our wallpaper to one of the new live wallpapers, for example, the Grand Canyon, you will see this new toggle right here that says show as screensaver. This was a here before. And now if we do it, you'll see your screen flicker a little bit. And if we, you're also gonna notice that inside of the screensaver section, you're gonna see them all here. You could turn off show as wallpaper. However, that made my built-in display bl black. It's kind of buggy right now. If we were to go into here, set Sonoma, and then if we were to go into screensaver mode real fast, I just set up a hot corner for screensaver. And if we do that, you're gonna see the new screensavers turn into screensavers. So it's really nice that they do turn into screensavers now. And another change I'm gonna just record with my phone to show you. You now have separate screensavers for a monitor. For example, my built-in display at Monterey. And right here I have Ventura. And yep, you can now have multiple screensavers and have them set to a different display. This is something that a lot of us in the Mac Rumors forum has been waiting for. I'll leave a link down below if you want to talk about macOS 14 Beta 2 in the Mac Rumors forum. Also in Screensaver, they removed the Show Clock option. However, this has been moved and updated quite a little bit. So Show Large Clock is now on Screensaver and Lock Screen. So if I were to make this the main display real fast and then trigger the Screensaver, you're going to notice that the clock just appears like this now, and it's no longer a black box. I think this looks a whole lot better and a lot more modern, and it looks really nice that Apple is finally updating this. Now the next change is in our appearance settings, so you're going to notice that the macOS Sonoma background instead of Ventura right here in light and dark and auto. In the last betas, these showed the Ventura versions of it. And so far we got a little bit of changes. So you're gonna notice right here, it, you can now change your profile, although it's still a little bit gimmicky. So if I were to do new YouTube window, you're gonna see that, you're ha that you have your YouTube window and it's just all overall a lot better. I just kind of wish you did not need to hover over new window. I just wish that the things would just show up right here. It'd be a lot more user friendly for it to show up right here. Safari 16 seems a lot better inside of beta 2. And if you were to full screen a video, you're gonna see that the performance of it is so much better. It's not flickering anymore. It's not doing a weird animation that has been fixed. Apple also updated the tap layout option inside of Safari. So now I will show the Sonoma background instead of the Ventura background. And unfortunately in the clock app, we cannot set multiple timers. I don't know why this has not been ported, but the clock version has remained the same in 62. But they have fixed a little bug where some little text showed up like right here inside the clock app. I just hope that Apple can add multiple timers since this is where I use the clock app timers most. And I really don't like using my phone for multiple timers. The messages app also got a couple of changes. So in the app icon, obviously this is probably a bug. And that the record a voice message button is a lot different. And now it looks different and it's a lot better as well. It looks a lot more modern. And you're actually able to send stickers to people with iOS 16 and older and macOS 12 and older. Whereas in the previous beta, you were not able to. This could have caused a lot of issues and caused a ton of fragmentation. But thank God Apple has fixed this. Apple has rearranged the control center settings a little bit. So originally the control center modules were down here. I don't know why this says control center modules when a lot of these don't have to do with the control center at all. And down here, a lot of these are exactly the same. It's just Apple did a little bit of rearranging right here. Now there was a little bug right after updating to macOS 14 beta 2 where it did not actually lock your device at all. So this is obviously a bug. I don't think Apple would intentionally do this and hopefully that they fix this in a future beta since this is kind of a serious issue where it did not it does not lock your device. 
and a brand new option inside privacy and security. It now shows allow accessories to connect. You can now change to ask every time, ask for new accessories automatically when unlocked, and always. So this was kind of an annoyance inside of macOS 13 when I wanted to connect a device to my MacBook. It would always show if I, if I wanted to. You can now change this to ask you. Really nice that Apple finally changed this. Apple has also fixed the battery widget, so it showed magic accessories twice. I'm not sure if it also showed AirPods twice. I don't know where my AirPods are, so I can't test AirPods, but I know for sure that magic accessories show only once and not twice now up here. Whereas if I have it, I have a screenshot of it, you see that they show up twice here. And this is the thumbnail that I'm gonna be using for this video. In beta one, we had a little typo with the shuffle button. So it's a shuffle without the E at the end. And if we take a look, this has been fixed inside of beta 2 and now it says the word shuffle and not a typo now that's all i can find inside of beta 2 if you found anything else below please be sure to put it in the mac rumors post or in the comments down below thanks for watching comment like subscribe share this with your friends i'll see you in my next video bye